now from Toby Cadman. He joins us from London. He's an international human rights lawyer. Toby, good to have you on the program with us. What do you think Al Jazeera is hoping to achieve with this lawsuit? Uh, thank you. I think what, we, what we've seen and listening to the press conference this morning, uh, very clearly they're setting out that, um, and as you've just said, that this is part of a pattern of targeting journalists and targeting uh, Al Jazeera in the occupied territories. And so um, it's not necessarily that it's been submitted uh, in relation to one attack um, on a journalist, um, um, Shireen, but, but part of a wider pattern. And uh, it follows on from uh, a filing by another legal group that was in April of this year, uh, which was in relation to, I think, uh, four other journalists who, who were killed. Um, and so it's also to demonstrate that there, there has not been a proper uh, effective investigation by the Israeli authorities. Uh, they're, they're refusing to engage. And now they're refusing to engage in an FBI investigation. And so I think that the, the legal team has now, as we've heard, uh, conducted a six-month investigation and submitted that to the ICC. Um, and that will form part of, we hope, their investigations into war crimes and crimes against humanity committed by the Israeli authorities in the occupied territories. So I think this strengthens what the ICC prosecutor, we would hope, is already looking at. So that dossier has now been submitted. What can we likely expect to see next from the ICC? And do you expect it to investigate this case? Um, first of all, yes, I, I do expect uh, them to investigate it. Um, and I would certainly hope that the ICC prosecutor um, will move forward. Uh, what we heard today from the lead counsel acting for the family in Al Jazeera, Rodney Dixon, um, he had uh, set out clearly that they have submitted the material to the ICC Office of the Prosecutor this morning um, and will, of course, follow up with further investigations and further reports to, to the prosecutor. Um, so the prosecutor will have to consider that. Uh, what I would say is that uh, the ICC prosecutor, Karim Khan, actually said yesterday in, in one of the meetings at the ICC Assembly of State Parties, which is ongoing in The Hague right now, that he does plan to visit the occupied territories, uh, hopefully this year. Um, but he has already, uh, or rather his predecessor, um, um, Ben Souda, Fatou Ben Souda, was, uh, was given the authority by the pretrial chamber to, to investigate. And one of the areas that she requested was the targeting of journalists. So she has, or the ICC now, and Karim Khan has the authority. Um, but I think what we also have to recognize is that uh, investigations of this kind um, are not quick. Uh, they take time. Um, the ICC prosecutor will have to do this deliberately and carefully. Um, but I do believe that we will, we will see an investigation open in relation to this. All right, we'll leave it there. Toby Cadman joining us from London. Thank you.